All right, so in this quick video, we're going to go over the basic differences between haploid cells and diploid cells. Well, before we get into haploid and diploid, we kind of have to have to put down some ground rules as far as some terminology. So let's look at what are called somatic cells. And like it says, somatic cells are defined as body cells, cells of your body, non-sex cells. So examples of cells of your body, skin cells, brain cells, nerve, muscle, white blood cells, uh, red blood cells. And, and so these are what we mean by somatic cells. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in to this woman's shoulder right here. We're going to zoom on in and take a look at skin cells as an example. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And so when we zoom on in, we can see a, a layer of skin. Well, you know, let's zoom on in even closer. Let's zoom on in at one particular cell, one particular skin cell. And so now we're looking at one particular skin cell. But you know what? Let's zoom on in even further. I just highlighted a nucleus of a skin cell. Let's zoom on into that nucleus and let's see what's inside the nucleus. And when we look inside of the nucleus of cells, whether it's a nerve cell, a skin cell, a brain cell, when we look inside the nucleus, we find chromosomes. And that's what these stained, rainbow-shaped structures are. These are chromosomes. Now, when you arrange chromosomes into, a, uh, into an organized picture, you have what's called a karyotype. Now we're getting into what's a diploid cell. Notice how these chromosomes are arranged. There's two chromosome number ones, and two chromosome threes, and two chromosome tens, and two chromosome eighteens. Diploid cells are, are what, what the word diploid means is that they are cells where their chromosomes are paired. Notice how there's two chromosome sixes. The reason there's two chromosome sixes is we inherit one from each parent. The reason there's two chromosome fours we inherit one chromosome 4 from our mother, one chromosome 4 from our father. So somatic body cells are also diploid. Diploid means they are, that they have paired chromosomes. And in humans, in humans there are a total of 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46 chromosomes. 23 pairs adds up to 46 total chromosomes. Diploid cells are also created by the cellular division process known as mitosis. If we just really briefly examine the stages of mitosis with this picture. Well, here we have the picture before mitosis, the stage before mitosis called interphase. And then the cells begin to go through mitosis, prophase. And now all the X-shaped chromosomes are in the middle of the picture. That's metaphase. And now the red lines are being pulled apart. That is symbolic of anaphase. And notice how in telophase here, uh, the round nuclei are beginning to reform. And then finally, in cytokinesis, the cell splits into two. So that's a little summary of what diploid cells are. What about the other one? What about the other topic of this video, haploid cells? Well, again, before we go into haploid cells, we need to examine uh, some other terms first. We need to examine what are called gametes. Gametes, by definition, are what we call sex cells. Now, we're going to look at a, at a woman in this example, but keep in mind that men also have sex cells. So in our picture here, we have a woman's reproductive system, and what we're going to do is we're going to focus on her ovaries in just a moment. So gametes sperm cells and egg cells. But let's zoom on in. We're going to zoom on in in this example to, again, uh, to female gametes. But men, we also have gametes. Our sperm cells are housed inside of our testes. We're going to examine, let's zoom on into a female ovary right now. And when we examine, when we zoom on into a female ovary, uh, we see a bunch of cells, a bunch of of, of uh, egg cells inside the ovaries. Well, you know, let's zoom on into one single egg cell. And so here we have one single egg cell. And just like the last time, there is a nucleus to that egg cell. Let's zoom on in and take a look at the nucleus of the egg cell. 
So, so far everything pretty much looks the same inside of the nucleus of an egg cell, also inside the nucleus of a sperm cell, but inside the nucleus of an egg cell we have a bunch of chromosomes. But watch this, here's the difference. When the chromosomes are arranged from biggest to smallest, chromosome number one is biggest, number two is a little smaller, number three is a little smaller, I hope you see the difference. Now we're coming to what haploid cells are. Haploid cells are cells such as the sperm and egg. Haploid cells are gametes. Haploid cells are cells with a single chromosome. There's only one chromosome number one. There's only one chromosome 15. There's only one chromosome 17. So I hope you see the difference. The chromosomes are not paired as they were in the previous example. Haploid cells, if we look at humans, humans have a haploid chromosome number of 23. That means in a female egg cell, there's only 23 chromosomes. In a, in a male sperm cell, there's only 23 chromosomes. Remember, that's kind, of the, uh, uh, that's kind of different from what we said a moment ago. If cells are diploid in humans, if they're diploid, they're going to have a total of 46 chromosomes. But cells that are haploid only have half of that amount. 23 chromosomes. And so these cells are created by meiosis, uh, the cellular division process known as meiosis. We look at this picture here. Here we're in, as we go through the stages, uh, one cell begins to pull apart and eventually form two cells. But that's not the end of meiosis. Meiosis has a second round of division. The two cells then go through a, a second division process and ultimately become four cells. So uh, that's what you see forming here is those, uh, there will soon be four cells. So that's a little compare and contrast, I hope that's helpful. Finally, when we close out this video, let's put uh, the, the karyotypes, two karyotypes of a diploid cell on the left and a haploid cell on the right and just put up some of the main differences between the two. So here is just a nice picture summary of the differences between diploid cells on the left and haploid cells on the right. I hope this video was, was helpful. Uh, go ahead and pause the video if you want to examine this picture in a little more detail.